Here I'm gonna be showing you how to create online courses with AI, and for this specific example, I'm gonna be using Thinkific. Now they normally come with a free trial, but if you click the link down below in the description of the pinned comment, you'll get taken to a page that looks similar to this where you can get it extended for a free 30-day trial, so you have plenty of time to kind of mess around with it and follow along in the process. With that in mind, let's begin. So Thinkific comes with the ability to create a course using AI, and not only that, even better, I think the best part of this is gonna be some of the valuable tips and insights that you learn along the way. So when you're on the inside of Thinkific, if you're following along with me, you wanna to go to products and courses, and let's create our first course right here. All right, and here we are, powered by AI, as you can see. Describe your audience and what they'll learn. We'll use this description to generate a course outline. You'll be able to make changes later. So this is gonna be fantastic if you don't know a whole lot about it. And this is where the important part begins. So I'm just gonna kind of pause it right here, slow down a little bit, because I wanna make sure that you get the most value out of this right here. One thing that a lot of people do when they create courses, they will go through the outline, they'll create their outline, they'll go ahead and create all the videos in the course, and then they'll go back to their sales page and say, hmm, what's gonna be the unique hook? Ideally, one of the best ways to do it is first, I'm just gonna write in here, identify your hook. I spelled that improperly because I'm doing three things at once, okay? And then create your course, all right? Because if you flop flip them, yes, I said that correctly, flop flip or purposely, I guess you could say, if you create your course first and then you try to create a hook after, you're gonna be locked into the content that you already created. Rather, instead, if you have a juicy hook that makes your course different from all of the others, now you can at least identify one, maybe two, maybe three, and then you can tailor your course around that, okay? So that's what we wanna do here. So when we're gonna be describing what we're gonna be doing in this, we wanna think of some hooks. So for this example, let's say we're gonna be doing a course about TikTok. So we know it's gonna be about TikTok, all right? So follow along with me here. This could be your course for anything as well. So what's gonna be something unique or like what's gonna be a time frame, or maybe it's gonna be off a case study. So obviously if you just go in and create a TikTok account, boohoo, awesome. Like what is so special about that? How about, you know, follow along as I show you how I went from zero to 30K followers in 30 days or something like that. I say that because I did something very similar. I don't know the time frame, but I do know that I went very quickly from a low amount of followers to like 30. In fact, let me look very quickly. All right, so there I am. I haven't used TikTok lately, but I did go from a small amount of followers to I have over 40,000. So this would just be an example of something that could be a good hook. So whatever it is you're teaching, you have to find something that's going to be attractive to your perfect audience. If I can actually show my customers and my students these steps that I followed, like here I am, say starting out like 5,000, then I went to 40,000, it's gonna be great because it has some proof to it and it's a much better hook. You see what I mean? All right, so that could be an example of a hook. Another one could be. So here's gonna be another example of a possible hook. How to plug and play a done for you sales funnel into your TikTok account in one click. Okay, so once again, it doesn't mean that it has to be all around this, but this is something that can be in the benefits or even if you needed to, like as long as you have all the content you're gonna be talking about, say we included five different hooks, as long as those headlines are somehow paid off in your course, like you talk about them and explain them, then you can use those for a hook later if you need it. So do you see the big difference here? If you just go in and create content and then you say, all right, what's the great selling point? What's the unique selling point about this? And you're like, hmm, there's nothing special about it. Now you've pretty much created a course and you're just locked into trying to just squeeze out some hook that's not gonna be beneficial because everything is just bland in the first place, okay? So that's, like I said, the biggest thing I want you to get out of this. Find your main takeaways, find your hooks, find what makes your course just so attractive and sexy, so to speak, and then you can create it from there. So now that we have two examples of hooks, we're gonna wanna make sure that we use that in our description. So first, let's describe our audience and what they'll learn. All right, so here's what I came up with. My audience is going to be individuals who wanna learn how to use social media for marketing purposes. They wanna gain views and subscribers while also generated, I put generating, here we go, leads and sales for their online business. So that's describing our audience. Now, what are they going to learn? So follow along as I show you how I went from this to this in 30 days on TikTok. And now ideally, what you can do is throw in some other beneficial bullet points like, you know, how to get started 
with your TikTok account, even if you're brand new, you know, like how to research some of the hottest videos in order to maximize your views. Let's scroll down. We can keep that one there. We have learn email marketing automation. And from then on out, what you can do is just kind of think about what else do you want to sprinkle in? And another thing to think about, since I've created so many courses in my lifetime, is think of someone going from A, not a question mark, to Z. Okay, so ideally in this case, when they're starting at A, they're creating a TikTok account. Okay, that's A. Let's put A right here. What's Z going to be? All right, you know, like, like obviously they can keep growing, but like what's a really big like milestone? Say like 100,000 followers, X amount of sales, you know, an email list that's X amount of size, whatever it's going to be, just think about where you want to get them, all right? So if someone took your course and they went to like say even 50,000 followers, would that be a good goal? Would they be happy with that? I would say yes, because I know a lot of people just love followers. I'm not big on followers personally. I think there's more things important, but if you're selling a social media course, you know a lot of people are gonna be looking for that. You could even do like 40, like the example in my account, or even 25, a little bit lower. So it really depends on where you wanna set them. Like if they go through your course and they got to 25,000 followers and they generated leads and sales, that I generally say that they're gonna be pretty successful as long as they keep that going and build the momentum, okay? So that's just something for you to keep in mind. So if they are just starting your course at A, right, they're going to be creating their TikTok account. What are the other steps in between? And this is ideally what you can put in this section, right? They're going to be researching videos. You're going to show them how to very quickly create and film videos. You're going to show them how to set up their descriptions and their hashtags and maybe their links in their bio. You're going to show them how to auto DM so that anytime someone comments on it, they get an auto DM. They can generate leads and sales that way. Whatever it is you want to do, you can put in there. So I'm going to leave it at this. This is the part where you go in and you think about your hooks in case you haven't been doing it already. I know we're kind of still on this page, but a lot of important information to talk about here. Identify the biggest hooks of your potential course. Talk about your audience, fill that in A through Z. And then when you are done, let's click on create and see what we get. So the cool thing about Thinkific here when using AI, not only is it going to create your curriculum, which we'll get to next, it also creates the landing page for you. So the landing page overall is pretty straightforward. We're gonna look at it very quickly. So unlock the secrets of social media marketing. So this is the course here. You can always change around the name. And as you're gonna see here, some of the biggest aspects here, like 30K followers in 30 days. In fact, you could probably make that a title, you know, it just because it's, it's, a, it's a juicy one, right? That's why we talked about hooks. Like just maximizing your views is just like, okay. You know, it's like someone who wants to make more money. Like, okay, it's just so dull. Of course, I don't like using monetary things like, you know, make X amount. I just don't like income claims, but uh, subscribers is cool. Something like that. Automating a sales funnel. You can make that a little bit juicier, like the one click done for you sales funnel that you can import into your account and start using today, talking about the course. And a lot of this is going to be very easy to edit. Let me show you right here. Let's do edit page. So when it comes to their landing page editor, it is quite basic, but the good thing in that department is that it's very easy to learn. It's pretty much just click on anything you want to change, click it, and right here, like that can be your image, you upload it, right? So as we scroll down here, unlock the secrets of social media marketing. This is going to be the course here. You can change that. You can enroll it. And as we go down here, once again, if you wanted to change any of these images, you click there. If you wanted to change that, you click there. So I'm not going to go too deep into a lot of this because it's going to really be just tailor made towards your course and what the AI generated. Obviously, if you wanted to make it a little bit better, you can do that. But me changing this up for a course you're not creating like doesn't make too much sense. Okay. I just want to make sure you know how to do things. Picture would go there. You know, your name would go here. We got capital A also. Cool something like that. And then of course you can introduce yourself. Pretty much it's just all templated here. And this is auto magically, yes I said magically, going to be populated based upon the curriculum that it created, okay? What people are saying, if you don't have any testimonials, you can just simply delete them, okay? There's a video too if needed and pretty straightforward and it doesn't have to be for free. You can always obviously make it paid, which is ideally what you'd wanna do. So I'm gonna click save here. And let's just go back. So I'm gonna click on X. 
All right, and when we go back, we wanna click on the curriculum right here. So these are gonna be these specific lessons and modules, so, or excuse me, chapters and lessons. So the first chapter is getting started on TikTok. You have creating your TikTok account, understanding features. Next is gonna be researching trending content. Under that, we have identifying viral trends, building your sales funnel, leveraging email marketing, scaling your TikTok strategy. So all in all, it gave us a decent follow through when it comes to what we're doing with in the steps. Because if you think about it, this is how you get started on TikTok. You get started, you create your account, you research some of the topics that you wanna create videos for, and probably one more here would be like video creation. So I'm gonna do add chapter. Let's just do video creation. Let's do save. All right, and it was saved, and what we can do is just move it up. So we're gonna drag and drop. This is gonna be right here. And what we can do is add lesson. And let's say this is going to be a video. All right, and I already have a video in there actually, just kind of using it as a placeholder, but what you can do is upload one if you don't have it. There's text that's optional, there's downloads that's optional, and you have some other aspects that you can change around here. I'm just gonna click on save lesson. And that's how easy it is going to be to just simply go in and change things around. So after doing that, we talk about building your sales funnel. Obviously this can be changed around because remember one of the hooks, let's say you were using a software that allows you to share funnels with someone else. That's how you can do it with the one click feature. So that's how you would make that hook work if you were gonna be using that. And we're talking about email marketing automation and of course scaling. So it set up this course very well for us, but the most important aspect of this was in the beginning where we talked about making sure that we have those hooks first and then using that to create the content. You don't wanna do it backwards, like I said before. Don't create the content first because if the content doesn't have any good selling points, you are stuck, you are locked into just trying to really sell something that's not going to sell well in the first place. One of the biggest lessons I can tell you from doing so many launches in the past, probably over two dozen, um, I remember I used to just create content and I'm like, all right, let's create a sales page. And then it was very hard to do. Once I started doing the hook first, it made it much easier to sell because I would create the content in the course around that hook. Okay, so what we want to do here is we can go to some of the settings as well. All right, and say the course name, so like, all right, so zero to 30K followers, say something like that. If it was a case study that I showcased based upon me growing my TikTok business, like I said, I don't remember the specifics of it, but it was very quickly because I found some viral videos and I kept posting them. I just got like millions of views and followers in the process, but uh, instructor here. And there's gonna be a lot of things that you can go down and just simply change. I'm not gonna go through with a lot of the meticulous details. Like we have our course image. This is gonna be our description here. Of course, player appearance, let's say our primary color, let's go with something a little bit more tropical, like green, I think that looks fine. The course player logo, if needed. Uh, let's see, you can do autoplay, I'm gonna turn that off. Drip schedule, if you wanna do that, I just kinda like having everything be launched in the beginning. I will give you a good tip though, if you do launch a course and you want a way to like really give more value to your students, what you can do is enable drip schedule and then what I like saying in the first module is saying like, hey, thank you so much for purchasing this. In 30 days, I'm gonna have an unannounced bonus for you. It's gonna be launched live. So that's what you can do with a bonus 30 days once they start. It's gonna be unannounced. They're not gonna know what it is, but it's gonna be a way for them to go through the course and of course, come back and get something nice when they are done with it. Just a nice little tip for you in case you wanna add more value to your customers, okay? And there's a few more settings as you can see, but I'm just gonna click on save settings here. All right, so now if we go to the pricing section, I'm not gonna go through with all this, but I will show you what you need to do. There is going to be free if you wanted to do that, you certainly can. There's also the one-time payments, there's subscription and monthly plans. Now in order to do this, you will need to set up your payments. So if you go into your settings section and then you go to payments right here, this is where you can set up Thinkific payments, which allows you to pretty much get paid. I'm not gonna walk you through that process since it's a lot of like private eye details, but that is how you can actually do that so you can start accepting payments when you wanna actually use AI to create your online course. And I know we didn't add a lot of content here, but the process is pretty straightforward, right? So what I wanna do here is click on preview and I'm just gonna show you what it looks like after publishing it just to kind of give you a good idea of what it looks like. 
All right, so this is gonna be a preview of it as an enrolled student. And the cool thing about this is that it's pretty straightforward, it's simple, it's very easy for your students to follow along. And anytime they complete something, they can click on it right here and it's gonna highlight and just pretty much show an extra completion to it, which is nice. This is gonna be the example where I embedded a video, but everything else is going to be the same here. These were just examples that AI created for us. And you can go in, change around the titles, add in your content, your downloads, your text, your videos. And ultimately, it is a pretty straightforward forward process once you know how to do the process talking about what I explained in the beginning of the video. So that is how you can create online courses with AI. And now that you know the big tip about it, making sure that you find your hooks first, that way you can give AI those hooks, the walkthrough of the course, it's gonna make it much easier for you to make sales because you have all these unique selling points that you can leverage at any time. If you got some value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And of course, if you wanna start creating some courses with AI using Thinkific, be sure to click that link down below in the description or the pinned comment as you'll get an extended 30 day free trial where you can test it out yourself. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.